Hello everyone, thank you for coming. My name is Ulysses Martin and I'm a PhD student at the University of Akron. Today, for the Student Speaking Symposium 2021, I'll be talking about the premature failure of Zenic stainless steel reinforcement by strain induced magnetic deformation. For today's presentation, we'll start by describing the stretch pressure cracking at the minimal requirement, as well as the influence of the matter to pass the main experimental a description of the study to end up with conclusions. So let's start by describing what stretch cross cracking is. STC is a natural phenomenon which occurs when three conditions are given. First, a material susceptible to corrosion. Second, an aggressive environment. And third, a tensile stress. STC severely damages the structure, reducing its survey lifetime. However, and more importantly, stretch cross cracking is extremely dangerous as it does not show any previous sign prior to failure. Now, let's take a look at the requirement for stress cross cracking to occur on stainless steel. As we can see from the throughout study of Truman on 304, as we decrease the pH, the region for stress cross cracking to occur enlarges, reducing the minimum temperature and chlorine content. However, for concrete, the pH is 12.6, hence we will need to be close to the boiling temperature and, during common work condition, we will never reach that temperature. It is because of the strain induced Martin side that the reinforcement will suffer from SCC and fail. The strain induced modern site is one of the strain hardening mechanisms that improves the mechanical properties of the alloy. Oxidic sound steel can go under phase transformation if they are subjected to some work, changing the austenite grain to the strain induced modern site. Starting from the austenite to slip band, epsilon, and finally alpha prime. The modern site can be formed during the manufacturing process, as this work induces defects on the outermost surface of the steel, but also during the strain of the sample. Knowing that the martensite is more susceptible to SCC and that under room temperature and high alkaline environment, arsenic reinforcement should withstand, the following experimental was designed to test the influence of the strain induced martensitic transformation on stainless steel reinforcement. For this test, austenitic 316LN rebar was selected. First, by XRD, the phase identification was done on the core and the corrugated section, as well as after the sample broke. All the peaks for the as received sample were from the Austin, hence, no strain induced modern site was seen from the manufacturing process by XRD. However, after SCC testing, a peak split is seen at 96 degrees, which meant an increase of 1.6 polling percentage of the alpha prime. This increase in modern site meant a higher constructibility as the chlorides would preferentially dissolve the PCC structure, allowing for a premature P nucleation where cracks could easier be promoted. To corroborate the XRD, a extraction analysis was performed. Starting from the river section, a dense layer of slip bands was seen. From these slip bands, epsilon and alpha prime nucleated. This area had a higher degree of deformation from the rolling process. On the non river section, the density of these defects is even less, however, some minor deformation can still be seen. To prove the high recognizability of martensite, cyclic potassium and high polarization curves were made at the three color concentration. As the chlorine increased, the E coronal alcohol increased for the corrugated area, while the core did not change up to 8% was reached. Even more, the core was able to repassivate at this high color concentration, however, the corrugated was not even, even able at a 4 weight percentage. This showed a high dissolution rate due to the matter deformation. After the SCC tests were done, the three samples were studied by SCM. First, the 0% chloride sample showed a ductile fracture with micropose and dimple. Once the 4% was added, a mixed fracture was seen, with smaller micropodes and dimples with the formation of semi cleavage plates. Finally, the 8% chloride had a brittle fracture with big well-defined cleavage planes around the edge of the sample, concentrated mainly in the reef section. Inside the pits and after light etching, the microstructure was revealed. This showed the formation of the magnetic packets due to the strain of the sample. From the most magnified picture, it could be seen that the cracks only went to the martensite, not the austenite. As it can be seen, the strain used martensite in conjunction with the chloris promote trigonal stretch cross and cracking. Finally, it was proved that the crack nucleation was due to the strain induced martensite, as they have residual stresses, granting them a high entity, acting as preferred as side for the chlorides to dissolve. This led to the nucleation of crack that propagated transgonally from stretch corrosion cracking. 
Thank you for your attention.